Welcome back to Battle Brothers. We've been making our way about the world with this company that has grown a lot larger and a lot stronger, though many of whom were meat shields in the last time. I have confidence in this company because we've managed it better than I have many of my past companies. Uh, again, we're streaming this, so this is going to be a VOD of a stream, but I'd say that we did pretty well the last time. I'll just quickly go over um, our company, who's in it, a little bit of what we've done and a little bit what we're going to be trying to do over the next couple of days because a lot of this is my first impression of Battle Brothers in a while. Um, or I mean, at least I played an old campaign, though I didn't get quite to Endgame, though I have some idea of what's going on around me. We had uh, some remaining members. This was Grimald Thickboy, probably the, uh, the man in whom I have the greatest com confidence in our company. Very, very good melee defense on this gentleman. Uh, he was a monk. We kind of outfitted him in good armor. We kept alive a couple of our original companion battle brothers. Uh, you can always kind of check on that, who's who's survived from the beginning. I believe we did, didn't we lose one? Or Hildrich, take care. Ah, this is our other one. We don't really have a lot of confidence in him. We accidentally lost a guy. We made a couple of mistakes, but that's kind of what this playthrough is for. Now we've got one in reserve. Does anyone, has anyone been maimed horribly? This gentleman had his foot maimed. Uh, we have a couple of archers. We're trying to visit every city in the world, but for right now, I would just say we're trying to... Uh, I always find that whenever I come back to a game, I can very quickly get swept off my feet because I don't um, I don't care about my men. So I'm just going to try to do things a little bit more slowly, a little bit more quietly as we go about. I'm just going to start with something very simple, uh, by visiting all of the cities first. Um, we did make a major mistake just a couple minutes ago, so... Uh, I mean, to just kind of put my mistake into perspective, uh, we didn't have enough money to pay our men. We took an enormous contract that made us a lot of money, but we didn't have enough money to get it all in time, so I stupidly lost one of our guys, but that is what it is. You know, we can always acquire more guys. Look at how cheap this guy is. Oh, Lap 30, though we're not really looking for cheap brothers anymore. We're looking for, like, well-outfitted brothers... Um, I really don't know what's the value of hiring an expensive brother. I am, think it's better base stats. If anybody really knows right now in chat, uh, feel free. I mean, I think it's better base stats. Sometimes you get automatic level ups for hiring some of them, which is somewhat useful. But it's also just good to know what their stats are, I suppose. Which you can't really get unless if you try them out. Or, or actually, that really just gives you trait, right? So... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, still a lot I'm kind of making sense of in the game, but I'm... Well, we'll get through it together today. Uh, we're going to Schweikhoff. Schweikhoff. Now, if we get to these last few cities, we're trying to... Ooh, whoops. We have to buy food. That's what I mean. You, you don't register everything when you come back to a game in a while. Um, hopefully we get a decent deal. Okay, this cheese is fairly cheap. Uh, I really got nothing. Hmm. Okay, some of the stuff we will keep, because it might come in handy. It might be useful at some point. These tools aren't such a bad deal. I know they're over market value, but it can be hard for us to find tools at a decent price. So let's go ahead and over here. Um, we're trying to increase our reputation in the world to get higher paying contracts, more money, and generally speaking, lives are now becoming a little bit more expendable for some of our guys, but we just want to raise a lot of cash. There's going to be more contracts, a lot more we can do. Um, first time stream I caught, actually, finding you a year or two ago, constantly hooked on the content. It was crazy when I heard you watch Northern Lion since I watched him for years. Ah, yes, Northern Lion is actually a great proponent for games like this, and a finder of many great games. Um, he finds stuff that I, I play a lot of, kind of in the background on my own. But I, I think he makes it more of his main channel kind of thing. I'd like to do more of that with the VODs. I always have trouble thinking of ways to edit games like this to make them more interesting as edited content. Let's go ahead and take a delivery contract. Um, we're going to, again, try to negotiate every single offer. We're going to Ingmar of Stranda, day northwest by road. We were already pretty much going that way, though, so I figure I might as well just take a delivery contract. What is left to visit? Oh, dear God. Um... Uh, Baldur, oh no, Baldur is, he's bothering the locals. We do like Baldur, though, because he's a good archer. Um, hmm. Okay, let's get Grimald Thickboy to calm him. No! Oh, wait, no, it's just a broken nose. Good. I was worried there for a moment, which is why I yelled out no. Um, okay, 
I had a moment of turmoil and fear. So I was worried that uh, Grimald Thick Boy, because these are our two most valuable brothers, I thought that they could live in camaraderie, but apparently they can't. So broken noses in this game heal in like three days, so we'll see how that goes. Two to five days, a very variable uh, health cycle, I suppose. But we've got Grimald has now suffered a broken nose, which is certainly not going to be good for probably his fatigue. Yeah. Baldur the Penetrator, though, is our great archer, so we're going to, uh, we're going to leave him there. God damn it, Baldur. We can also put them in reserve if we have a greater sized company, but we really don't need that for right now. Uh, nor can we really keep track of them. So basically, uh, as we go through, if anyone has any, any noteworthy accolades or achievements, we will give them a nickname. Uh, as to be decided by chat, so. An incentive to come, uh, fear na setter. Oh, yeah, <laughs> as in, uh, fear na setter. That brings me back to, uh, Stellaris. I do really like the writing in that game. His, you now, let's go over one thing. His nose wasn't removed. The reason I panicked was because sometimes they would lose their noses, which is, uh, as you can imagine, not good. Uh, as you can probably imagine, not good. Uh, we have to go to whole schlag and that sounds like a swear. And uh, Bitterfield, so Bitter or Bitterfeld. Where is whole schlag? Oh no, we totally missed that place. Well, at least it's on the way over here. So, okay, we're off again. Uh, unfortunately, the cargo delivery missions don't pay for our men's food, so we have to kind of take care of that for ourselves. This was really just a subsistence mission, I would say. Um, hmm, Bitterfeld. Food. We need food. We need food for my men. This isn't enough food. I'm not even going to be able to pay my men for the number of days. We're running out of provisions. Four and seven years ago, a basketball hit me in the nose. Thus began my journey as a eunuch. I'll allow it. Yeah. I mean, I thought we were going to go into like a Lincoln, a Lincoln quote. Triple G, thanks much for the 300 bits. Uh, man, that would suck to get your nose broken by getting... Though I do feel like that a basketball flying through the universe is kind of like a hazard, you know? Hmm. Alright, 550 crowns. Again, this is really only enough to, like, pay our men, barely. What is this? I don't really read the contracts anymore. I just kind of... Okay, let's accept the offer. Uh, follow the tracks near... St this is probably going to be a thief quest, so I'm going to... See if I can avoid this for right now, only because we really want to get to... We want to take, like, delivery quests that ha send us to whole schlag. Actually, I don't know if I really have a choice here. I think we might have to take this. I don't think that this is going to be such a difficult group to... Oh, uh, where are we going? East of Stronda. Okay, so now we have to follow these tracks. Usually not very good. This isn't, like, Hansel and Gretel kind of stuff. Usually this is... There's either a demon... Oh, thieves! Okay, it's thieves, good. Uh, sometimes they have decent stuff, usually more often than not, they don't have very good items, so... We've been trying to find brigands. Well, they are brigands, but see, these guys don't have great armor. We were looking for, like, chain mail or something like that. Alright, uh, we could shoot them from here, but I think I'm just going to wait for them to walk up. Oh, usually the enemy walks up before we do. Is there any high ground we really need to take at all costs? I don't think so, so let's just leave that as is. It's going to take a lot of AP to get over here. Is this gentleman going to be able to get over here at all? Go, Norman! Norman of the Normans! Oh, damn it! Why did I let him do that? That was bad. Okay, now we need to swarm this man. See, I told you I would make mistakes early on in the combat if I did this. Hmm. Hey, Froggle Terra, thanks very much. Have I killed the necromancer yet? If I see any necromancers in a fight, I'll probably run in the opposite direction. Uh, I do not like necromancers. As you can probably imagine. They are not good people. They are not agreeable. They're bad. Bad men. Now, there's so many different enemies in this game. I feel as the last time that we played, we didn't really get anything very interesting. We just got normal enemies, sort of. But the truth of the matter is that 
You don't really want to get these abnormal enemies. Yes, very interesting for f lore and fluff, but they'll probably kill you and all of your men. Um, Non-human enemies tend, at least in the base game that I've found, to not have very good loot and are also very deadly. Like, necromancers can literally rise all of your men from the dead. A terrifying uh, prospect. Oh, this is not an advantageous fight. I should not have... Oh, I completely rewrite this. Okay. Well, we just want to take out that guy fast, even though that we're on lower ground. That is impassable, so we just want to not engage this gentleman. Uh, mm, actually, this I totally messed this up. Well, we can move our archers into the armpit of this section. I really want to just get to the top of this hill and move the battle over there. In retrospect, I suppose we could have just walked back a couple of steps, though. That probably would have been a better engagement. Oh well, um, I think we've... I think I've made my point. Mm, he's on the higher ground, yes, everyone is on the high, higher ground crap here. We are getting... we're fighting against a bunch of Obi-Wans. I don't like this. Hmm, what's wrong with necromancers? The victims are already... I mean, like... The thing is that necromancers will basically bring an army of zombies against you and then rise them all up against you. ha 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 that was very satisfying. Even if he does get engaged the next turn. Uh, eh, we'll put you there. That way we prevent this guy from getting into the zone of control. Into the danger zone, one might say. Hey, Dream King, thanks very much for the sub. Much appreciated. I just found, I find them to be impossible enemies to get past. Well, let's take this bit of higher ground while we can. So we clog up this hole, and then probably the rest of the enemy will engage us up here. I'm a little worried about our uh, banner carrier. But maybe we can just decrease their morale by a lot, because it seems to be fairly lopsided over on this side of combat. Um, regretting most of this now. Actually, can we just go straight in for some shots? Shots, 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 shots. There we are. Excellent. Uh, mm, sometimes just taking a long-range shot is going to be better for us. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, why would I run these guys up? What's even the point of that? What's even the point of that? Yeah, shoot as long as you can. I don't know. I think just hanging back probably would have been better. Sometimes I feel like it's more heroic to be like on guard and fight the enemy, but it really is just stupid. You should just hang back and shoot and try to prevent- Ah, yes, but now they are flagging, seriously, because we've shot them up so much. Excellent, excellent. Uh, this is the last guy to go in this round of combat. I'm just gonna shield wall him, because I don't think I can really get anything else down here. No, this was my one major mistake. I do completely regret that move. Because now he's in the way and he can get shot, and it's very difficult to disengage in this game, too. Uh... Zunes and alas, I will wait on this man's turn. I know the Axe guy is gonna get hit hard if he hits- This guy is also in a terrible position, but is this- Uh, Randolph looks like Sequisha. Unfortunately, I did not give myself a note whether or not I wanted him to live or not. I assume that I did want him to live, because I had him look like Sequisha. Ah, Jin. Thanks very much for the prime. You gotta make sure that you don't surround the axe guy. There's all of these little bits and details that you need to pay attention to in combat. I think I'm going to go along with the vague idea that, dear god, I really didn't manage the... <sighs> the one thing I'll say that I, do, I don't that is bad for me as a streamer is that I tend to overlook simple things when I... Oh! I am a powerful man. Um, I can't really run away from this fight. Is this a guy- this is the pimp. He wasn't really that great for our company though, so if he dies, I won't be upset. I- I have a grudge with this man, actually. Okay, this guy is, uh, in retreat, which means he really isn't gonna do anything to us. He's very powerless. Very powerless. Uh, but I can't really do much else with Alfred this turn, so I think I am just going to hit him. Maybe have the rest of the enemy team flag even- or rather, waver more. Weaver. Weaver, I say. It's too bad, because this guy wasn't even really that strong, either. Grimald, why are you wavering? I think I need to raise Grimald's uh, morale a bit. I'm just going to try to put in other guys here, so that he'll hopefully hit them instead of the pimp. The pimp Norman. Hmm. 
Oh, did this game come out on Humble Bundle a while back? Wow. I do not know that. All polearms have a penalty to start targets next to them unless you take polearm mastery. That's why I'm good. Yeah, that's why I'm going for the, uh... Oh, I didn't realize that polearm mastery can improve it, though. Now, even repositioning in con- This was just such a bad placement. I should not have done some of these. Mm. Swing, swing, I say. Sing, sing, sing with the swing. Mm, you're not in a good position, but at least you have on a lot of armor. Ah, uh, Ivoric, thank you very much for the ten gift subs. Ah, uh, very thank. Thank you very much, Ivoric. I hope you're enjoying the- t I hope you enjoy whatever it is that you came in for, uh, this channel more. Did any of that make any sense? Well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. If you're getting a gift sub from Ivoric, please be sure to say thanks. Thank you, Ivoric. Thank you, Ivoric. I appreciate that. It does help. It does help. Quite a lot. Quite a lot, in fact. Hmm. I scale the hill. Okay, now we've given ourselves a height advantage. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, that man has a pick, which means that he can get through armor fairly easily. Hey, right, we're pretty much just fighting these gentlemen. Maybe we can cause some sort of snowballing effect and get them all to retreat. Yes, look, he's wavering even more. He's breaking, he's breaking, he's been smackledorfed. This man. I will continue to watch for many more moons. Thank you very much, Ivoric. I appreciate it. For the company. For the company. Uh, I don't really know, actually, there is nothing very valiant about this game. It's mostly just a lot of mercenaries fighting for money and then getting brutally maimed, and they don't even get to, like, file a lawsuit for, uh... I mean, because they were in the business of fighting in the first place, so of course they can't file a lawsuit, like, for, uh, workplace endangerment. That's one of the bitter ironies of Battle Brothers. You know, you'd think that it was, uh... You'd think that it, it, there was some, like, uh, lawsuit at the end of it all, but no. Hey, Phylic, I'd say thank you very much for the very large raid. Uh, how are you, my friend? Hang on a second, let me just give you a quick shout-out. We have some streaming, some streaming business right here. Hey, thank you very much, Phylic. I'd say I appreciate the raid. Where are you guys on? Oh, you guys were on Zomboid. Lots of good updates coming out for Zomboid right now. Existential Nihilistic Bliss, thanks very much for the Prime. I <laughs> Probably the high point of my day so far has just been reading that name. Not to say that the rest of the day has been bad, but just to say that, yes, we have killed another man. But just to say that that name is so good that it deserves... I don't know. More mention. More mention. Yes, I have saved the pimp. I have saved the pimp. How are you, Phylakites? I need to send you a raid one of these days. It's been, it's been too long. It's been too long. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. Feel like having... Fun being eaten by Naxxerers by beer. Now, Naxxerers, I don't think, are really such a terrifying enemy in this game, because they... Although that they change and transform like goosebumps. Uh, usually if you can prevent them from transforming at any point, you're, you're okay. Which, you just need to be able to snowball into them and murder them all, so... You know, I haven't had issues with Naxxerers, nor have I really had issues with skeleton armies. Of course, now that I say this, though, I imagine that I will have issues with them. The bitter irony. Uh, this guy is totally in Yo, in running. I am off and you're streaming, so oh how hell! You fine afternoon. Hey, thank you very much, M Cool TV. Hey, thank you very much. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. I don't know. I'm just glad to be back on the, the streaming. Uh, I'll call it a grind. I'll call it a grind. But it it feels not like a grind to me. It feels like pleasure. I truly enjoy every moment of these. Yes, this is pure gaming with you. Now we've got a lot of level ups here. That was grand. Did anyone suffer any serious injuries? Uh, you got a cut arm. I really did not manage you very well. This is the reason why you never want to move up your range, guys, at the beginning of combat. That was very naive and fast of me, but... You know, we got it done. We got it done. We have to go now collect the money. Money! Money! Um... Yes. M money. Money! All right, Stranda, Stranda. Uh, they probably have some fish here, because, I mean, it is a port city. Look at how cheap the fish are. They're practically jumping out of the ocean into our mouths. Uh, let's go ahead and sell these bucklers, because I, I don't really care to carry these things around with me. Care to carry? Oh, so clever. Hmm. Now, I have one bit of OCD. I hate pickaxes. Are pickaxes any good? 
hundred. I mean, they're very good against armor, but they just require so much fatigue to use. It's Grind like it's pleasure, not even worth it. Forsooth, what is what is now is happen? Ties in wine. Thanks very much for the hundred bits and M Cool TV for the three dollars. It is. It, I mean, everything we do here is a bit sus, but yeah. I mean, don't tell anyone. Um. Hmm. All right. Let's go to Holschlag. That sounds like a disgusting name for a city. We've got provisions that we're actually wasting away time. I thought we were paused. Holschlag. I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and uh, purchase the DLC here after this. Because I, I've thoroughly enjoyed this campaign, you know. I don't know if it's really one I would bring into my main repertoire of streaming all the time. Uh, but I might eventually bring it into a, like, an irregular repertoire, you know. Like, with the plethora of other games. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? What is this? Okay, this is a hideout of the insane master. Clearly a powerful man. What is... He? Oh, this is the necromancer. Okay, we do not want to fight the necromancer unless we are very, very strong. Because he has weeder gangers. Not weener. Uh, weeder. I won't allow that. Oh, dear God. Ivoric, thank you very much for the... Uh, another ten gift subs. Dear God, if you're getting a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks. Ivoric, oh, you are... You are splendid. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ivoric. I appreciate it. Oh, you're too kind. You're too kind. If you're getting a gift sub from Ivoric, please be sure to say thank. Thank. Ah. Uh, whole schlag! We got the whole company into whole schlag. Ah, uh, this is a terrible thing. Why are we not getting good contracts? Oh, this is probably because I betrayed this faction earlier on. Uh, I'm gonna need some more time to think about this. Okay, now we did... Ah, uh -huh. everyone is in good spirits, and the company has gained renown for the Battle Brothers. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this, uh, Black Deer land, because, um, they, they're not paying. They ain't paying no money. No monies. And we need money. If we want to survive. Um, hmm. Uh, you're splendid. You're, no, you're splendid, Ivory. Oh, thank you very much. No, you've, uh. Money, money. Um, of course, of course, I'm kidding. Uh, no, but thank you very much. It does, it does, it does help a lot. Um, a little bit. Hey, thanks very much for this sub. The stream, sadly. Getting ready to head to the airport for my vacation. Oh, vacation. All I ever wanted. I've got to get away. I've got to get out of here. As that old song goes. Okay, Max errors. Those are non-human enemies. Oh, okay. This is an interesting instance. And I, we, this has not actually come up so far throughout this playthrough. Uh, sometimes, as in Bannerlord, you will see enemies engage in combat. So uh, I'll see if I can get a front row seat to this. The militia is now chasing down the Nax errors because they don't want them to be in there. Because they're monsters. Um... Mm. Okay, 1080 crowns is a much better contract. I don't even know what it's for. It's a caravan escort. We do get provisions. Uh, let me just see, make sure that we have enough money to pay our men, because we accidentally didn't do this the other time. Uh, barber. Yeah, barber. Generally speaking, I don't buy a lot of goods at stores. I don't know if I'm stupid for that. Maybe we should go somewhere where the... Oh, my God, it's expensive over here. Okay, so yes, we will take this contract. Um, two days to the east, so you gotta kind of subtract out however much you think you've gotta pay your men. Everything is an opportunity cost, guys. It's economics. Alright, I think I'll let you folks decide my next ambition. I decided the early ones. Um, we could either go into the wilderness and discover a tomb or something like that and destroy it. So, like, the necromancer. I obviously won't go to the necromancer. I'll go somewhere a little bit safer. Um, we could fight a dozen guys, which is gonna come up eventually. Uh, maybe not quite yet. Or we could get a sergeant. The sergeant is actually going to be the easiest. Uh, I may do this one, in fact. Do we have any strong opinions? Or is everyone... Everyone is also saying sergeant, too. So you are clearly rational humans that are guiding me. Thank you, Twitch chat, for not saying Alt F4. Remember to swing by the towns the caravan passes through to check for... Ah, that's true, that's true, that's true, Alex. Hmm. Ah, Militia Spear. What, to what good... Deed, do I owe this? Why, I start to talk more and more like a knight as we play this game. A strange sight, one dead man pinned to the earth with spears. His own blood has been used to circle his corpse, and the other strange ritualistic rites have been painted on his way of his life. Carl starts retrieving the spears. You try and tell him to stop, but it's already too late. 
He holds one of the weapons up. What? These are of good quality. Why would we leave them here? Okay, so we're probably cursed, but we got some spears. Okay, and the undead are coming to kill us. Uh, well, good time to level up. I did remember that. No, I didn't forget it. I swear to God, I didn't forget it. Where is the rally? Rally the troops. So this is what we need. We need to get it level three if we want to rally the troops. And then we'll get more stuff done, obviously. Now, Grimald Thick Boy was retreating in the last one, but he's at 45. Uh, we may need to raise their morale significantly more if this really is... Grimald Thick Boy, I thought you were better in... Oh, this is because he's injured. Oh no, Grimald Thick Boy is actually in danger for a little while. Normally I would up his melee skill, but I just think I want him to be able to soak up some damage first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, because he's in dire danger. Dire danger. Spears are OP. I mean, we've liked the flails, though, haven't we? We've had a good time with flails. Check Nexus mods. It's probably for... Ah. Uh, sergeant is really good for... Uh, that's true. Maybe we should... Well, we, we should find a good sergeant. You're right. What am I, I doing with my life? Spare. Good tidings and happy Friday, my friend. Ah, uh, Ivoric. Ah, uh, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you very much for the thousand bits. Hey, happy Friday to you, too. You're too kind. R really too kind. I'm a... I am afraid of your kindness. But thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Norman the Pimp. Okay, since he, I keep marching him into danger. But he also might end up being... Is, who is going to be our best sergeant? Perhaps uh, Falk the White. Because he reminded us of Gandalf the White, right? I don't even really know why. Somebody said that and I said I would do it. So I'm a man of my word. And yet I would prefer that he be an archer. Because he has the three on that, and I think the damage is just a bit more important. Okay, well, I mean, Norman the Pimp, for right now, I guess he's just going to have to be our sergeant, right? Hmm. Just terrifying amounts of kindness. Okay, but we don't want him to die for now, so I might just give him Colossus. Uh, though crippling strikes would also be more fundamentally good. I'll give him crippling strikes. I think I'll do everything right from now on. Probably not, but... Stand by me. Uh, we'll give him more fatigue. Yeah, the, the resolve, the fatigue, and the melee skill, this is very offensive with him, and I think I can make him sort of a glass cannon. Partly because I'm just very fond of the phrase glass cannon. Because where in the world would you ever see a glass cannon? That's ridiculous. Of course, no such thing exists. If you were to fire a cannonball out of one. Only be half as terrifying. Hmm? Keep up the fantastic work, bringing joy and solace to your weary viewers. Ah, uh, joy and solace indeed. Well, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate the 500 bits, mixed bits. And also your just absolutely dashing vocabulary. All right, I think it would be stupidity to not go with the things that he has three stars in. I mean, like, why not? Well, actually, uh, the irony here, the sad irony, is that HP is not very useful for an archer. I think I'm just going to go up in these three, because fundamentally these three are more important. I mean, the HP, if we have a little bit more to spare at the end, but right now I'm a man of my word. Uh, okay, let's see what else is happening here. Uh, I think the, auto, the free level up is usually just the go-to perk for me. I want to get their stats up as well. A wooden cannon was real? Or a ceramic cannon? I don't know if I'm going to allow that. Hmm... Okay, this was going to be a, a, a throwing boy, so we'll give him that. I really don't think that this 40-something resolve was enough, though. I think I need to raise the resolve to greater highs, greater standards than we ever had imagined uh, possible or plausible. Uh, maybe we'll try to aim for 50 as a base for each of them. Only because it's not really so much a matter of them simply retreating, but even if they begin to waver, their stats already decrease. So... In a way, raising the resolve will help you out in your probably your most difficult fights where everyone is dying. Um, though, you know, maybe we could just get through the game without really paying much attention to it. Okay, you have very high fatigue, Randolph looks like Sequisha. I'm going to go ahead and try to keep you in our company. <laughs> Another level up. Okay, we'll try to get the whole company up to 50. Uh, yeah, let's try to keep them like that. Yeah, right. That's all the beer. Ah, there are undead auxiliary. Now, we have not fought non-human enemies, nor undead auxiliaries. What are they auxiliarating, you ask? No one really knows. Uh, but these look 
Uh, that is a one hex. Okay, so we are going to have a fairly decent tactical advantage in this fight. I think I'm just going to hang everybody back. Cascadia EXO, thanks very much for the prime. Much appreciated, my friend. Frap you stay. You'll get shot by the other archers. Yeah, they could get shot by archers. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... I mean, he has only like 22% chance to hit these guys. They're all armed with shields, so our archers aren't going to be that great against them. This guy will be a prime target for archers. I'm going to go ahead and wait on my archers' turn, though, because I want to see if the enemy marches up, which they must. They must. Uh, these other people are not going to be very useful. We just want to make sure that we take this hill right here. I think that'll be the one spot. Probably march up, like, one guy onto that and just give him a good zone of control. Otherwise, though, otherwise, otherwise, what are we going to be doing here? Well, we'll see what they do. They'll probably try to take the hill and get us to come onto it, but we will not let them. We will not let them. We could advance one foot, but I think I'd rather just delay the fight and see what they do. Let's completely delay everyone. No one move a muscle. No one move even a muscle because they can't possibly get near to us. Okay, we're going to completely skip our turn. The one good thing about Undead is that they're slow, so they don't have very good initiative. Mythbusters built a wooden cannon. Well, howdy do. Howdy do, Mythbusters. Did they build a glass cannon, though, is the question? Did they build a glass? Advantage is subjective. Well, now this is getting a little bit existential. But, I mean, we're always existential, so I'll allow it. Okay, they are... Actually, do they build up any fatigue? I don't believe that the Undead build up fatigue. Clearly, because they're all still fresh. It's like they all just had a good wipe with Bounty or something like that. Or Charmin. Not Bounty. You would never wipe yourself with a paper towel. Unless if you're an absolute savage. And just... Ah. Uh, don't do what I... Don't do what I say. <laughs> don't do anything that I say. Alright, uh... Oh, I accidentally skipped his entire turn. I mean, that's, that's bound to cause a stir. Bound to cause a stir, indeed. Now, we want to take out these, uh, let's take out the ones without shields. Those are really the ones, the main hope for archers. I am a little bit concerned for this fight. They brushed their skeletons with toothpaste. I mean, that's fine. They can do that. Okay, this costs 6 AP to do, so I think I'm just going to move this guy onto higher ground. Cue the Stevie Wonder music. Actually, this is a terrible spot for him. Mm. We might want to shift our entire line over a couple spaces, though. I think we'll end up doing that. Might have made a little mistake here. We'll see how that pays off for the rest of the fight. Now, the traders are going to be pretty much useless to us for this. Mm. Bold of you to assume I exist. I've been binging videos and VODs while playing back to... Ah, you had a weird dream about me last night. Well, that is interesting. Um, hmm. Thank you. Thank you for having a dream about me, I suppose. Hmm. Little sus, little sus. I'm going to leave him right there, in fact. You stay there. I'm not going to shield wall because I think that we get turn priority next turn. We're just going to shift over our line a bit. Now we've asserted a zone of control over here, so they need to build up a lot of movement if they want to do anything. I'm not actually going to go after these guys because I think... We're better off just standing here and not building up any fatigue. Because these skeletons have a lot of fatigue. And I don't really like that. Mm, I could put one guy on this hill, but then he's bound to get rounded. Surrounded, indeed. I think I'm just going to completely skip most of this turn. Did I accidentally skip with my... No, I, I did shoot with my archers, so it was worth the while. It was worth the while. You'll probably run out of spears and then need to go over to melee, too, though. We'll just shift over the line a bit more wherever possible. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, actually, I could have speared wall with him. Oh, we don't have that many. They would have just avoided him. You need to av uh, avoid bad things in this game. If that wasn't already blatantly obvious. Hmm. Alright. Now we're just entering a new realm of verbal diarrhea. Okay, now we will probably shield wall. Because they're going to walk up to us and... Uh, try to kill us. Mm. Shield wall. Rest. Wait. See, now, when you see them slightly raise that shield, that means they've entered a shield wall formation. Now, shield wall formations can be dastardly. 
Uh, if you- oh, wait a minute. We may have left open a flank here, because I didn't expect him to just leave. As I was saying, shield wall formations can be dastardly. Because they get more defense based on all of the people next to them who are also in the shield wall formation. That's good, as you can probably imagine. I'm gonna wait with him. Let's see how they react. They're usually fairly good at optimizing their terms. Uh, turns, not turbs. Spear wall is greater than shield wall. Yes, it does do damage, but... Mm. That also just takes up the spear weapon slot. I don't know, I'm going to... I must be right somehow. Ever do that, you just start defending your own insane logic for no reason? Mm, okay, he does not seem to be getting a very good chance. Why is he not getting... Resistance against ranged weapons. Okay, yes, so the undead are not a very good enemy for us because they are resistant to ranged weapons. We will just pass this turn. Ah, good, you have engaged my shield wall. Uh, we could surround this guy, but I don't want to leave my this guy open, so I think I'm just going to shield wall him. We'll wait, see if they walk up to us. And then we'll go in, because we got to get some melee hits in on these guys. We got to. 27, 23. Okay, I'll take 27. 27 may not be great. Ah. I should have waited. I should have waited. It wouldn't have really changed it that much, though. Can't sell a glass cannon to a man. Remove broken glass quite a few times. I guess you could shoot broken glass out of a glass cannon. This is getting to be a bit of a crazy uh, hypothetical that we're going through now, though. Ah! Ah, but look, Grimald Thick Boy has not wavered at all. He is stalwart as a companion. No! Oh, ooh, that's not good. I mean, this man is very surrounded, though. Who is that? Sequisha? Randolph looks like Sequisha, yeah. Okay, so now Hilderic has been uh, a bit smackledorfed right here. This is the. I was hoping that he would stay there. Unfortunately, he didn't. They so were going to re equip this on him. Now, he has used up 4 AP to equip this item. Not great, but. Uh, um, actually, am I gonna have you Hilderic? I said Hilderic take care, which means I didn't really want him in the company anymore, so I'm indifferent to his life or death. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and let that happen. And though you see that they have enveloped us. They're trying to get to our ranged people. They want to kill our ranged boys, uh, as best they can. I might even have my ranged boys just take out their weapons. Might even be good to outfit them with more proper like actual melee weapons but as you can see these caravan people are less than useless they're actually misleading at this point um, hmm. okay so these two enemies we have a better chance to hit because we're slightly surrounding them more I think I want to get this guy away from my back line whoops that wasn't good uh, hmm. all right let's try to kill one yeah no Big sad. Alright, 58%. Aww. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, this is not going too particularly well, but it's also because these guys just aren't are very good against range. Okay, we're just going to... Uh, try whatever we can, I suppose. We got some unlucky hits here, but... Mm, I do want that guy dead, but uh, who is closer to... No, none of them are close to death. Okay, we'll go for this guy then, because he's closer. Uh, kill them? What do I mean, kill them? They're undead. Well, kill them again. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll take two 38% chance to hits. And both of them missed. Sad. I know those don't seem like very good odds, but... I mean, rule of... Uh, rule of quantity... Is that a thing? If it's not, then I'm going to make it a thing. No, I feel more afraid of what could happen on this side. So I think I'm going to march this guy into... Actually, I do want to outnumber them here. Let's see if we can quickly overtake them on this side. A little bit I regret that. A little bit I do, I regret it. Alright, okay, at least you're doing. You're having a decent combat. You are a fool and a coward. All right, 63. It looks like that that impaling in percent chance perk we took has been for the best. Starting to look like a lot will die here. No, I don't think a lot will die. Um, I mean, if we can't get any hits in, I will be worried. 
for the next couple turns. I want to get this guy away. Ah, oh, God. You'd think, though, that more often than not, they'd hit some of these 35s. But sometimes you get, like, weird strings of luck, or un uh, the unluck, which is the opposite of luck. Um... All right, this guy is gravely wounded. Nyaha! Okay, we've broken their line. We have breached the wall of their of them. I've got enough guys with shield walls up though, and shield wall is actually quite overpowered. So, although it's hard for us to hit them, it's also very hard for them to hit us. Twenty-one percent. Okay, all right. Well, at least we got a little work done on that. Ah, grim old thick boy. How thick you are! Oh dear God, they, that was smart of you. Uncharacter- I'm glad that I left another man over there. They are really shooting for, uh, what is his name? Norman the Pimp. Yeah, they're really aiming at him. Come on, the flail was a good- now the flail is good against these guys because it goes right past their shield. So... Frabjus. So Frabjus. Um... Okay, I'm thinking that this melee fight might be okay. Fortunately, the javelin man has his shield, so he'll be fine. Mm, flailman. Oh, haha. -ha. Come on. Take him down. No, no. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you fool. You fool. Backing out. Alas. Alas. Unlock is the opposite of luck, just as undead is the opposite of dead. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we have unluck because we're fighting the undead. I'll, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Um, hmm. Whom do I shoot for? He has a 33% chance to- Okay, that's good. That was what I wanted to happen the whole time. Oh, you're bleeding, sir. Flail has a penalty to accuracy, right? Or am I thinking of some other- I do not know about the flail's penalty to accuracy. I think it's so valuable because anything that gets right past a shield is just so nice. You know, there's a good chance that the shield could survive. Sometimes we'll start encountering enemies with better shields gear that we want to keep. These undead's shields are actually fairly decent. They're not amazing, but we could use them hypothetically. Hmm. Another one. Their weapons are pretty good, though. Unfortunately, they have survived long enough in this combat that they've managed to use quite a lot of their gear. I don't like either of these chances to hit, but I'm just going to have to take them. Ooh, got very lucky there. Now, another technique that you could use is to just go straight for an enemy's armor. Like, the flail tries to get over their head, um, or over their shield, and right onto their head. So it's not really great if you want the head armor, but it is good for quickly killing an enemy. Um, because it gets past the shield. The shield is dastardly. Hmm. Hey, Totem, thanks very much for the nine months. Sorry, it took me a second there. Ah, oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Ah, oh, Totem, how are you, my friend? Hey, Kilpa. Excellent choice of game tonight. Excellent Ah, uh, you're a sommelier of games indeed. Of turn-based, uh... Whatever this- this game has an attitude, you know? A particular attitude that not many other games have. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. It's very difficult for them to take this high ground here because they're already engaged with my guys in combat, so... If you engage an enemy in your zone of control, then it becomes very difficult for them to escape. So that is, that is a, a positive there. Okay, now we're surrounding them. We're beginning to surround them. I don't believe that they have morale, though, right? Aha, I have the high ground. Okay, I am Obi-Wan. There they go. Only three left. Now, we still haven't lost a single guy. This is a good way to play. Obviously, trying not to get a lot of... <gasps> Norman the Pimp. No, don't die. Hmm. I was never good at this game. I'm so bad at... Oh, nonsense. Everyone is bad at this game. No one has ever been great at it. But it kind of makes me a little bit more optimistic about playing on some of the harder difficulties, though. See, one misleading cause for alarm when people play this game is they often think that veteran difficulty is like normal difficulty. I think that beginner difficulty is like normal difficulty. <gasps> uh, we didn't really like him, though, anyway, did we? Except he was probably going to be our sergeant, so that really sucks. Straight beheading. That was too bad. That was kind of a lucky hit, though. Alright, oh well. Oh well. Norman the Pimp. There are better. There'll be better people. There'll be better people. But like I said, this game has RNG that can be brutal, you know? 
you can lose a guy in one turn, one... And I wouldn't have moved him away, because moving away in this game is suicide. <laughs> if you try to walk away from somebody in combat, they'll just die. You need to be ready for that kind of stuff to happen. Oh, is he using a weapon that targets the head? I haven't... I don't know all of the weapons yet, so... What is this? This... This is a terrifying weapon, clearly. Ah, so basically, you want your people to have good head armor when you use that. Okay, I buy that, I buy that. Now, all of our guys are flagging, they're terrified. He'll actually get a free hit against him, but... Really, the main two that I just want to live are Grimald Thick Boy and one other. Like I said, a lot of the guys in this company have just survived longer than they even were supposed to. Mm, here we go, reload and go in again. No, that didn't work. No, please don't kill me. Please... Ooh, boy. he might not be dead though. He's just down with his body. Who, who, da, who dat? Who dat? Was that Sequisha look-alike? No, Sequisha's look-alike is still there. Okay, we're in, we're in luck. Now these guys never flail, or never fail, or never falter because they're undead. They don't have morale. They don't believe in anything. They just exist. Ah, cleavers. Amazing for decapitations. A very fun thing, though, to see someone decapitated, even if it was on your own team and it's disappointing. Okay, we're coming up to Hilderic Take Care now. Hilderic Take Care I clearly didn't care about because I named him Take Care, as in goodbye. But what he just did it was involuntary. I didn't... This guy ruined that entire fight. Hilderic, uh... I mean, I guess they are cowards, and we're supposed to be defending them. You make up your mind, caravan hand. Um, hmm. Like, normal people would have given up by this point. But they aren't normal people. Maybe we need an axe in this company. We don't have any of them. All right. Now, an axe would be useful here because we could get straight past their shields. We could just take down the shield, but this guy has been defending himself for so long with it. With an axe, normally you can just chop right through. But this is a non-usual enemy. Usually we're going to be fighting humans, so I figured it would be fine. But, like I said, this is the part of the battle which I would just, like, would like to automate this. It's never interesting to fight one guy. Dear God, get out of there, Hilderic. Isn't he one of the original brothers? We didn't really care about him, though, either. Hmm. On the upper left side of the log, it says struck down. Oh, I did not realize that. Yes, you do have an entire log of the whole battle. So, okay, so then this gentleman didn't, is not dead. We've lost only one because clearly you can't really come back from a decapitation. I'm fine, guys. I just need some physical therapy, I think. Uh, hmm. Alright, well, we've got the archers lined up. See how miserable my archers are at hitting this gentleman, though? Really better off with the flails now. And the other issue with fighting undead is normal people would be done with this fight by now, covered in fatigue. Whatever you say, you know. Uh, engulfed in fatigue. But see, all of my guys' blue bars now is very low. Uh, that means that they're very... T ah, yes. They're very tired. Okay, so he was struck... Ah, he was killed. Norman was clearly dead. We did have Harald, the brawler, improved from that. He had good stats. Okay, we did pretty decent with uh, gear. We got the Falks. How kind of shape is that in? Uh, broken Ancient Sword. A lot of this gear is okay. We did get a Signet Ring from it, so that was good. That's pretty valuable. All right, we'll begin again. Begin again. Hey, Mr. Atomic Duck, how you doing? Liked your, uh, I've been liking the coverage of the PZ. It's nice. Uh, it, like, it deserves it. And then doing good, you've been doing God's work, my guy. How are you? It has a lot to understand. I feel like it's kind of up your alley, though. I feel like you could, uh, maybe even enjoy it. I forgot to level up a gentleman right here. All right, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I should have reformed my line. I was having a good time, though. All right, well, at least we can riddle this gentleman with arrows, though it is unfortunately nighttime, but we have even ground now. Are we also with... We happen to be with... Uh, these are caravan guards, but it looks as if there are more people here there uh, than there were the last time. We could hide behind them. I think we're going to go ahead and hide behind them. 
Yeah, let's just use the, uh... Yeah, you know, we'll, no, we'll let them do them. We'll see if we can manage this. No, I don't want to die. All right, let's play smart. Not, not, uh, hard. Not hard. You know, wild ride getting the chance for a... No, hell yeah. I mean, honestly, like, everything in the slack is, uh, is super valuable for feedback. No, but it's good to see that. It's uh, Mainly, I'm just, like, I'm tickled pink that there's so many more people playing, uh, Zomboid now. It's like, uh, it used to be so lonely, you know? It was me and a couple of other folks. It's good. You've been, uh, you've been doing a good job. I like that. I like that. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Hmm. 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 All right. We've got enemies. Now, the crappy part about nighttime is that no one can see at nighttime because it's dark. Um, very difficult to use your eyeballs when there isn't light as they respond to light. Uh, look at how many enemies are just coming up out of the dark here. I don't like any of that. We're going to try to force the caravan hands into helping us because screw it. Like, I mean, now look at how many of them there are. I'm not going to use this much meat. I woke up this morning and chose nihilism, but only because violence wasn't really an option. You are not a man of violence. You're not a man of violence. That's what I tell myself every morning. Everything bagel. Everything bagel. Uh, violence and nihilism lead down the same road. Oh, what was this? I heard a comedian the other day who was doing a funny bit with that. It's been a while. Hey, thank you very much for the sub, Everything Bagel. Much appreciated, my friend. Much appreciated. Envy the level of editing and storytelling. It's fantastic. Ah, thank you very much. I always felt like it was just, uh, well, you you know, you probably will end up doing it yourself. I used to do non-edited stuff. I'm back here doing non-edited stuff because I thoroughly enjoy these gameplays. But, uh, no, I was, uh, I used to do more of that stuff. But it, uh, you know, eventually if you want to do more edited stuff, it's always, it's always available. And that's why, and that's why I enjoy what I do. Oh, God damn it! please stay in front of us! Look at your powerful mustache! Sir? Well, they aren't just gonna let these donkeys get hit, are they? No, who would ever do that? Let's see if we can make the line, yes, like so. Please stay in the front. Please stay in the front. Hilderick, you aren't fit for battle. Yes. Yes. The truth is that I don't really care what happens with this contract. I just want... I mean, there's 26 of us versus 6 of them. Why should we have to fight so much? We could just swarm them, but the issue is that the AI will stand back and just watch me go out to die and then retreat and be sad. Love to see another Kenshi campaign. We watched Tor Solo this week, and it's so good. Ah, yes. Probably do more of it in one video, but I'd like the idea of an epic again. Uh, the Tor Squad was just a pleasure. Just a pleasure. I'm actually going to skip everyone's turn because I, I want to see how they. I want to see how the AI, if it's man enough to fight, you know. Hmm. Does anybody not have a shield? On? All right, let's react and see what they do. Will you move up? No. Uh, that wasn't what I expected you to do. We'll pass the turn again. Unfortunately, a lot of them have javelins. Yes, that was what I wanted you to do. Yes, good, good, good. All right, now I think we can move up the men. Uh, rather in a moment or two. Hang on a second. I'm going to keep on skipping turns because I really just want to see how the AI plays this one out. Well, the one thing I've found is that the friendly AI is very unpredictable when they're not aggressive. Like, these are non-aggressive AIs. But see how much they could help us in this fight. They're already surrounding these guys. Now we get right up to this guy. Okay, now this is the more like the fight that I wanted to be in. Hmm. So much maneuvering, though. So much maneuvering. And I do see this as a turnoff with the game. I hope that if they ever do a Battle Brothers 2, there will be less maneuvering. and Or a little bit more... A little, in the words of Elvis, a little less conversation, a little more action. You know? That'd be nice. Look how much they're wavering. It's really just a matter of surrounding these boys. Okay, we didn't get the full thing in. That's fine. A little less conversation, uh, satisfaction. There we go, yes. Mm. 
never imagined I would uh, see the day of me playing Battle Brothers. Battle Brothers is one of those games that just has enough detail. It's kind of like a Kenshi or a Zomboid or a RimWorld, that it's enjoyable like that. Lots of good to be taken part in here. But look at how much we are enveloping the enemy. We can't even we can't even finish our turn because there's so much movement to be had. See, now everyone needs to take a walk around. But with my luck, this won't work out. Um, okay, good. All right, now we bring in the archers. Is this... Ah, oh, we can move over this grass and be secret in there. Yes. Good. Good. We're not great chances to hit, but, you know, we need volume of arrows here. We need to maximize the surface. Yes. Surface area of arrowage. Here we go. Good. Even though that we don't have very good <gasps> Well, that's not one of my people. Sacrifice other people's lives instead of our own. I'm sure the caravan will be fine. The truth is that if we manage to get these guys gear, that would be a real victory here because it's so expensive, this gear. Go to sleep for the night. Thanks for the great stream. Have a great day. Or oh god, now we are losing people because those caravan hands were not the ones that I wanted to engage. Uh, now we will play aggressive with these guys and we have to think about what gear do we want. Now this chain mail and this uh, nasal helmet look pretty good. But this guy's also near to death. Let's see if we can get ourselves some chain mail. That'd be pretty nice, right? All right, I'll take 60. Although this guy's helmet is very good, he's also in a shield wall, and it's going to be practically impossible to hit him. Let's just take out this guy, see if we can get his chain mail. Give me your chain mail. All right, this guy is in a dastardly position, but... Well, I think we'll be able to take him out. Either that or I'll just chop everyone's head off. All right, we've surrounded you more. What start did we pick? We're on the standard start right now because it's really one of my first campaigns in the game. Though there are many other starts. One thing that I neglected to mention the other day was uh, there does appear to be a lot more replay value. <laughs> we have one. Um, because of all the various starts that you can get in all the DLCs. This gentleman is flagging. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Um, I did, waste no time. Waste no time. Really, the important thing about this encounter is Securing as much of this gear as we possibly can. Now, I don't know if all of it will get to me. Who just died? Is that a friendly or an enemy? I honestly didn't even notice. 13%. Ooh, this is a difficult one to decide. I'll take two 13% chances to hit. That was pretty good. Uh, one downside might be that some of the uh, caravan might get the loot rather than us because we're playing alongside AI right here. Yeah, the caravan guards might destroy the armor before we could knife them. That's true. Uh, we could have knifed... Ah, uh, that is fair. Yeah, knifing them to get their armor might have also been good. Yep. Yeah, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. But what we really need to do is outfit more of our guys with knives. That would be good. Give up trying to steal armor in this fight. Yeah, we just get whatever we think we can take. That's definitely not an area of this game that I've mastered by any means, but there's a lot to be done. One thing... Oh! Good job! Good job! Howdy ho, man. Howdy ho. Mm. Alright, although I don't want to destroy... Well, let's, we're going to have to destroy his helmet anyway. Maybe I will take one 23% chance to hit... No, alas. All right, uh, it doesn't appear as if anybody's really left here, just this one guy's faltering. But see, this fight just seems so lopsided. 24v3. Who would possibly stand and fight in this? I mean, they would literally just be trodden under us. Hmm. Anyone? I guess I'll take, I'll take one 21% chance to hit. Okay, keeps hitting the shield. But we have just so many more turns than they do. Because we are great. 82%. Yes, 82. Ooh, th that was a very effective hit. Very effective indeed. I'll try to puncture. Oh, that was pretty good. So we did manage to get a puncture in there. 
All right, these guys are now just fleeing now, so we're... I can just pass the turns for everybody. We want to run them down so that we get their gear. Because, yeah, there we go. As you can see, we're clearly winning. Matter of getting through this guy's armor. This guy had very good armor, though, my god. Mm, and you... Grimald Thick Boy, you just stay right there. We have nothing for you to do. We have nothing for this gentleman to do either. We have probably, yeah, you can't do anything. My God, this guy, this guy's like a punching bag. Jesus. Hmm. Hammers are intended to destroy their armor. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, you know, there are certain items that you could bring out if you wanted to just go totally into an enemy. Oh wait, this guy's not ranged. Just go totally into an enemy's armor. But we're somewhat trying to salvage their armor. I don't know, maybe that would be a very interesting company, to just give everybody knives and stab them. Ah, that was horrible, actually. Though we didn't lose any gear, on the other hand, too. I mean, we did just get one thing of padded leather. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any of their helmets. Alright, let's go back into our company now and reform the lines, reform the lines. Um, we've got only 11 now, we could hire another gentleman. Harald the Brawler. Let's give him Colossus so that he gets more HP. That's always good. And we will level up his... his Colossal HP. Uh, that seems fairly decent. Yeah, let's give him a little bit more fatigue. Okay, Stash. Um, so, as we were saying with the fights in the armor before, let's go ahead and give everybody a knife so that they could always swap out to it. And you don't have any armor. Let's give you... Uh, 95%, that's pretty good. Let's give more or less. 15, 15, 10. 15, 10, worth, uh, worth 92. Uh, it's about the same worth. I think the wooden shields are slightly better, if I'm not mistaken. Firefly, um, hmm. Give all your people daggers and the enemy surrenders. You could surround them and puncture them to death. Maybe we'll go ahead and try that in one of our upcoming fights. Or, I mean, at least all of my archers. I'm going to make an attempt to just outfit with daggers like these so daggers or knives are good I think daggers are a little bit more advanced advanced dagger technology especially those guys on the end in the uh, among the archers you really want to have outfitted with that kind of thing mm, I think we'll still keep uh, our lookout for a banner a banner lord banner lord hmm 178. This is probably going to give more fatigue, but it's clearly a better helmet. We've actually got real metal helmets for our men now. This doesn't look like a very good helmet. Mm. With 180. I think we need more weapon variation. Let's go ahead and... Uh, flails are good. Spears are good. I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe we will seek daggers. Hm. 116 versus 180. I think this is actually a slightly better weapon. 35. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some trading to do in the next city. All right. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Let's switch out one more of these. And I think we're, we're good on that management. Everyone's leveled up. Everyone's happy. Don't question it. But my god, we've got a lot of brigands on the road. Okay, these ones avoided us, and there goes the first Wolfenstein company after them right away. Mm. Give my archer guys a backup shield spear in case they get grabbed. Mm, I give them a melee weapon, but usually I play them a little bit more high risk, because... Why do I do that anyway? I don't want to waste it on their fatigue. Do they really get fatigued? My The main reason why I don't do a shield on it is one it raises the fatigue i'm a glass cannon for god's sake and also two it takes more ap for them to take it out and i don't want to waste uh points on that perk that makes it switching equipment free i feel like it's a waste i feel like i could do something better you know what i mean you know what i mean you can find anybody with a decent background day taylor 
You know, that monk that we got before was great. What are really the good backgrounds we're looking for? I've been told Brawler is good for frontliners because they have good base stats. I mean, they're decent in our arms. That's unimportant. But I, what else would you look for? Just really people who have backgrounds as combatants, I suppose? Armors and helmets have the same conditions, but helmets also have a 30% chance to not drop, even if you meet all conditions. Weapons have a 90% chance to drop, but also need to be above, above 11 durability. Enemies used by enemies do not lose. Oh, so there's quite a lot of it. Soldiers, brawlers, and farmhands. Brawlers always want more money. I mean, I'm okay with giving them a little bit more money if they're really good, because what I'm ultimately trying to do is just get good people, I suppose. We don't really have anybody of those desired backgrounds. Miners are terrible. Okay, fair enough. We'll leave these people. Miserable, sad men. All right, uh, what is this one? You can always just kind of skip past these. Drive the, it's the uh, brigands uh, northwest of Rainbrook. All right, I mean, brigands is pretty good because we can always just kind of keep farming gear off of them. Though now that I mention it... Oh, this guy's got exposed ribs. Well, I mean, you're just... Yeah, you'll be fine. You and your exposed ribs, you whiner. I don't really see us using these things. I could repair them, but does it matter? Hood. I think we're beyond these leather caps now. We're on to more proper helmets. Mm, we'll sell the signet. The signet ring is at a decent price here. I think we could get that. Battle standard, obviously, we want to keep. I mean, now we're raising funds. We're raising funds. Look at us. Wowzers. Hmm. Anything else decent quality? Uh, I don't really want to buy... F I could buy a little bit of this. Ooh, gemstones. Nah, nah. All right, let's just do the contract. Yeah, we already said there was nobody that we wanted here. Okay, huzzah, into the wild. Um, got only 11 right now, and one guy's not in great condition, but it's fine. It's fine. There's an opportunity cost of every single day. Fatigue isn't useless. The main thing I've always found in games like this is that the, the most important thing is to be able to quickly take out the entire enemy team, you know? If it takes you five turns to do it, it's not as much worth it anymore. But it's like, uh, you want to be very bursty. If you could take out, like, three guys from the enemy team, you can cause them all to waver and so on. I think we're going to wait with our archers again. The main reason I don't rush them up here is because then an enemy could just walk right up to them. So you're much better off with the melee fighters first. They have only one guy who has reach. It doesn't appear as if there are any ranged here. Oh, I stand corrected. Actually, no, I, I confirm what I just said, but... One, two, three. As long as this guy can't get onto this thing. Or we could just back up as well. What I might do is walk up here so that they're forced to engage me on this spot and they have fewer spots where they can engage us and then kind of extend the line over to this hill. When does this guy go in the uh, initiative chain though? Like, you're always better off trying to do it in somewhat of an organized way than not. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to go one, two, three, then line them up here. So that way they can't surround us too much. We'll see how that goes. And I'm going to move him up there because he's such a tank. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Hopefully they'll fall into our line, though. Obviously they're going to try to get around us a bit, too. Most of the perks aren't generally useful. Really? Hmm. I mean, there's so many various ways to play. There's probably much better ways to play, but I'm playing very low risk because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm using basic common sense in a lot of this, but obviously there are better techniques that you could use. Obviously there are better techniques. Some of the best, lowest. Yeah, I mean, that's another good example. Bows work, even though that they're not... You might think that it would be good to take melee, but clearly it's not for... I think obvious reasons. Okay, these guys are probably going to try to get around us, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to seal off this path. In fact, no. In fact, no. 
They'll go one, two, three, four, and it'll still take them like multiple turns to get to us if they want to. Maybe we could do something like this and then hide our archers in these armpits here. Um, I want a spear wall, but it's also going to require a lot of fatigue, so I think I'm just going to wait. I'm not a big fan of the spear wall. Fatigue neutral builds that use uh, as much fatigue each turn as you generally cover so you can swing and move each turn. Ah, that is very nice. Huh. Probably a lot more than you can game this game that I'm not really even using. But, eh, I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you... Oh, wait, I should not have done that. I think it'll be fine anyway. I think it'll be fine anyway. Um... I could duel this man and kind of pin him there. How do we want to do this? We've created a concave here. We just want to be careful in managing this. They probably won't want to get up to this guy. I think we can just kind of turtle right here. Make it hard for them to get around us. There are fights where you encounter, like, very fast-moving enemies, like goblin wolf riders. And you just kind of need to keep shifting your line throughout. These two are engaged in combat, but they can't engage anymore in this combat. So let's just use this guy as, like, a... Uh, as a buffer to prevent anyone else from getting around. Because these guys I know are going to try to flank around. We'll wait on him. Um, and then maybe we could just flank into them on this side. Yeah, but that's going to require a lot of fatigue as well. I... Kind of, I'm going to wait with him as well. Cast your net out wide. Cast your net out wide. That way they can't flank us and we could just keep shooting them. See what I'm doing? I'm just screening. I'm screening so that they can't get to our archers. Our fluffy, gooey center. Okay, they can't get into this space because of this guy, so I'm going to move him here. And, ah, damn it. All that for like a 38% chance to hit, but they have no shields on this team too, so they're very vulnerable to our archer's fire as well. I'll move you over one. And then probably do that. Damn it. Of course, it all seems much worse if all of your archers miss. <laughs> that helmet helmetless man looks tasty for your flail. Mm. Fair enough, fair enough. Actually, I could screen him around. Mm, not a bad idea, not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Though I don't want to leave this area open. And if we can engage only one man with this axe man, that would also be great. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Mm, I want to keep the high ground. But is it even worth it at this point? Is it even worth it to avoid the entire battle? Well, we could create a concave here to surround them more. Okay, I'll take that over the high ground. Excellent. Okay, an early kill like that is really, really winning. I think I like you just where you are. You can walk up, uh, although I don't want to start surrounding. Eh, let's see if they walk into this, because we already have the advantage here. We already have the advantage. And if we can go into them right here. Yes, I have a flail. Yes. Oh, that's a good point, that's a good point. Helmetless men stand no chance against a flail. They are insecure about not having a helmet, so they are food for the flail. He's gonna one-shot my shields. Oh, this guy, the wood axe guy? Ah, that's why we're keeping only one of them in contact with him. Oh, with the pole arm, with the pole arm? No, but the thing is that an axe just requires so much fatigue to use in a single turn that I don't even have confidence that I'll be able to do it. Okay, this man is just a, a troglodyte charging into the universe. All right, these, this is exactly what I wanted, though. The archers can now get in some good shooting. There we are. Good. Mm. I want to take about Spearman Man, because he does scare me. And that turn. Now he's going to... Ooh, he's walking... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. 
See, look, he missed. He used up all of that fatigue and he can't even do anything. The fool. All right, uh, okay, good. Two spears into this man. Ah, that's more like what I'm talking about. That's why wood axes are so bad. They can't do anything. Kind of questioning these crossbows. They just can't get in that many shots in a turn. Yeah, the pole army, um, what is it? Doesn't, th yeah, this is fine against shields. This, this is actually not that great a weapon. It's good because it has good distance, good reach. But it's, it could be better. There we go, and good, good, good. That's how we wanted that fight to go. Now we will engage this guy because he's very weak one-on-one, -on -one, or, uh, when you're directly next to him. Hmm. Flail, flail, oh. Some things, sometimes things don't go as you want them to at all. Hmm. How confident am I in these fights? I've already got enough guys coming through this area. I don't want these other guys to get away. Completely confident in that guy. Okay, let's just walk in here. Yep. I mean, I think the the thing you would just want to avoid in this game is not letting anyone... Or taking a turn where somebody doesn't get to fight. You want to maximize the surface area of violence. You know what I mean? Damn it. Hey, yellow robe. Thanks very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Hmm, hang on a second. Why isn't that appearing on my thing? Hmm, I don't know why subs didn't appear on my Streamlabs thing. Apologies, apologies for any missed. Hmm. Thank you, Yellow Rope. Much appreciated. Okay, go! Oh, I forgot about that. Be careful with that. Sometimes one one move can get you killed like that. Like, that guy has better, better fighting at two range. I forgot that he would do that. Okay, yeah, this crossbow thing is not really seemingly as worth it anymore. Oh! <gasps> Like, how? There was so much between him and him. Was he downed? He is... Falk the White is dead. Like, that one I could never have... I could never have guessed at. Yes, throwing weapons are good, but also, too, like... Look, there's a... Well, the guy doesn't really count, but... There was a tree stump between him and me. There was very little you could have done to uh, prevent that. Oh, so often, our quest just stands on the edge of a knife. Hmm. Alright, there we are. Cause him to waver, cause him to shake in fear. Ganging up on them is but yeah, getting the surface area high is good. Alright, there we go. Now we've broken their lines a little bit more. Uh we wanna let's get in front of that javelin guy, because if we had engaged them him, that wouldn't have happened. Damn it. We can't get out of this combat either. I mean, you'd really like to be able to get to this guy, you know? Um, hmm. All right, I'll keep walking over. Actually, I don't believe that this was an obstacle. It might have been. It's hard to tell, really. Hard to tell. I want your gear more. Good. Let's keep shooting. Man, look at this guy. Dastardly. Evil man. All right, Grimald. I mean, there are some of them that I just get really invested in, like Grimald Thick Boy. If he dies, I'll be dead inside. But the rest of my company feels a little bit more expendable. Mm, whoops. Didn't manage my AP right there. Man, this guy really isn't going down. Mm, I don't like these odds. Damn. Who is this? Uh, Rudolph the Red Unimportant Reindeer. Uh, he... <laughs> Where do these names come from again? <laughs> uh... Yeah, he, he didn't matter, clearly. I'm glad that we gave them those names, though. That was an important... An important step in getting to know our company. Yes, yes, yes. Javelins are about as good as they are in Bannerlord, which is amazing. Okay, now this... The fight is won. The fight is basically won. That's fine. It wasn't enough. Sc oh, it was too much uh, room between them. I guess if he had been standing directly next to it, sure. 
Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. But now I, I would just like to be able to auto. Okay, you just stand there where you are, because you deserve life, sir. Uh, die, man. There we go. Good. Uh, if all the white died, he was our archer. I'm I'm quite sad whenever I lose an archer. Though. But oh, we got a nasal helm. Ah, excellent. Okay, and we got one of these hook blades, which is a fairly decent weapon. Uh, I believe that the short bow is from our own dead guy. Some of this stuff is from our own dead guy. Pretty sure the nasal... Yeah, that was not from Falco either. Okay, so we did get a nasal helm, which is quite good. Uh, let's go over here. And we chase them down. Huzzah. Hmm. Hmm. 10 out of 20. Well, we really... Uh, Rainbow no longer has ambush trade routes, so uh, goods should be a little bit cheaper in the town now. Nice. All right, let's see who we want to give the nasal helm to. Hildebert the Slow, question mark? This is one of our original guys. Might want to help up him. Corey in the house already has a nasal helm. <laughs> uh, oh, you dead. You dead. Oh, wait, no, you'll heal. You'll heal. You're fine. Harald the Brawler. I, I might actually give this to him because he's probably going to be in our front line for quite a while. Um... Throw javelins for greater impact. Yeah, we could outfit everybody with javelins. That way we could get in, like, a good volley. But it's also going to require so much fatigue and AP just to take out javelins in the first place. Mm, to a certain extent, I question it, but... Wait a minute, which one is better? This one? Oh, this is better. Much as I suspected. Take that off. Take off that hat. Uh, you get this, and you get this, because this is slightly better. All right, what do we think of the feather and the cap? I guess that the feather and the cap is really good, just because... Why is it even good? 40 out of 40, 30 out of 30. It's really not even... Do anything to fatigue? Okay, so it gives you... Obviously, having a feathered cap around probably isn't going to cost as much fatigue, but it's not as good armor, too. That fact stands... The nasal helm to... Mm. No, which one is... Wait a minute. No, we give it to Harald the Brawler. Rudolph the Red Unimportant Reindeer. Hmm. What is your life like? You're wavering a lot, aren't you? We're just going to make it so that no one can hit you so that you don't panic in combat. Okay, so we have been trying to get a sergeant. Um. Hmm. Will you eventually be... Well, let's see if anyone else can get the skill. Uh, I might even just give it to him, just because I want to get this thing done. Yeah, let's do it. Though, will he really be a fitting sergeant? I, I mean, it doesn't really make any sense to make him the sergeant, because he's not... He doesn't have good morale. Uh, let's give it to somebody who it actually fits with. Mm, yeah, we'll just keep on waiting on that. Probably uh, Randolph looks like Sequisha will eventually be the uh, the sergeant. Until then, until that day, we will not do it. Because I don't want to uh, end up end up with him as the sergeant. If he's not supposed to be. If it isn't meant for him. Uh, okay, so since this guy is in our front line and he's probably going to end up with a lot of armor, I'm probably going to give him brawny. So the shield... I mean, also, I am giving everybody the shield wall. I kind of like... Makes called it, we call it macaroni if I put a feather in my cap. Okay, Yankee Doodle. Hmm. I suppose since I'm giving quite literally everyone a shield, I'm gonna do shield expert. Just have everybody become a shield expert. They will never get past them, unless if they decide to cut our heads off. Of course, in which case we're in trouble. Uh, is this the same coat? This is in slightly better condition. They'll repair everything. Let's also set them to just repair everything so that they get better prices. Uh, at the next town. At the next town, of course. We might also want to start to up our ranged weapon game because there are far better ones out there. And you. Okay, my archers are improving. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's terrible fatigue. Uh, rather resolve. Negative one. I just don't really want that to be at negative one. I don't know why. It scares me that it's that low. Mm. 
Yeah, we clearly need that to be higher. Only because if they do waver, even if they don't retreat, they'll still just be idiots. Yes, I think we'll do shield expert again. We haven't had any major fatigue problems. Why does that dude have a bow? Which guy? Oh, did I accidentally put a bow in somebody's secondary? Thank you for noticing. If so, Wait a moment. Let's go here, here, and 50 is probably enough for now, so let's just give him more. We haven't really done any ranged defense, so we haven't really encountered any ranged enemies, so there's no real point. Will you be our sergeant? Cory in the house. I see you try and battle brothers. Have you tried the Legends mod? It's mm. maybe the best way to play nowadays. Adds I've heard that it's very good. Content makes women exist and adds way more mid and late game content than is in the base game. That is fair. That is fair. I actually, and on thank you very much for the thousand bits. I appreciate that. You know, I've heard that that's the one very good mod that everyone seems to be recommending. So I, I mean bad on me that I haven't checked it out yet. I'm sort of getting more just a hang of the vanilla because I find that whenever I start off with a mod in any new game, it always confuses me endlessly if I go straight for a, um, if I go straight for a, uh, a mod and I always think, oh, why isn't that in the game? So that's, that's really the main reason why I don't do it right away. But thank you for the recommendation. That means a lot. I'm happy to see that a lot of folks are enjoying battle. <gasps> oh no, our mushroom are gone. Ooh, brigands. Uh, should we fight them? We're at only strength 10. I was hoping to hire more guys. It's only 5, though. Yeah, screw it. We're fighting. I mean, I figure if we can outnumber them and stab them all, that'll be great. Look at how many nasal helms they have. Their noses are ours. Legends is bigger, yeah. We'll probably what I'm probably going to end up doing is just I like this game, so I'm probably going to do a few different playthroughs. Kill them uh, all and be intensifies. Hmm. Hey, dutiful cow, how are you, my friend? Hey, thank you very much for the uh, for the for the kind sub. Hmm. I think I'm going to back up here. Because I legitimately think that we can just win this fight. I'll take one thirty nine percent chance. Oh, Oh, I could have waited there. But they have no... They have no, uh... Actually, if they're if they're so, like, adamant about coming right at us... See if we can surround some of these guys. Though this guy has no gear in which I'm interested in. Hard to say, hard to say. I don't know, what do you think I should do, folks? Do you think I should back up, or do you think I should charge into them right now? If we back up, then we'll get in a good uh, few shots, but we have only three range guys right now. If we charge into them, things might get crazy. All right, safe. Uh, front or back? I'll do whatever you want. I have usually use my own tactics, but let's see, what, let's see what the people say. Let's see what the people say. Burrito Brian, thanks very much for the prime. Front or back? Front or back? Remaining... Charge, charge, let them come. Okay, hold the line, bang it. I'm getting a lot of backs. Let's, you know, let's give it a shot in the back this time. Because we haven't done that yet. We haven't just backed up and tried to avoid anyone all the time. So, yeah, let's just back up. Maybe this style of combat will be advantageous for us. I'll skip everyone's turn. Uh, you just run away. You run away. I shouldn't have even brought you into this. All right, here we are, 73. Uh, you'd think 73 would be almost sure, wouldn't you? All right, I'm going to back you up, and then I'm going to spear chuck you. There we go. Hmm. Probably could have made that three hexes. Well, you know, at least I get only one hit. I think I will shield wall you. Yes, now we will take some defensive maneuvers. Oh, I forgot to change this guy, too. Uh, all right, shift the line. Shift the line down. Spear. Good. Walk over. Walk, walk, walk. There you go. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. They have a guy with reach. 
And this guy also does have reach. I know it does not appear as if he has reach, but it is a rather long axe. Uh, so beware of him. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm just gonna not build up fatigue. I mean, they're humans. Look, they're already tiring out from just walking like three feet at us. We're good. We're good, my guy. Uh, and he's behind the spearman. So he doesn't really even need to do anything this turn. All right. Uh, I will shield wall you, Grimald, thick boy. I'm just going to wait. Damn it, I didn't know that they had axes. Yes. Okay, here the power of this shield wall is, or rather the spear wall is, is, is brought to witness. Yes. The power of being far away. Oh, that actually went quite well. Sometimes things just work out. Okay, you stand in the back here. All you really need to do is protect our flanks. You put up your shield. I doubt they'll ever get there. Okay, but now their guys are actually able to reach at us, so I am going to engage them. Um, hmm. This could get messy, though. Let's put our most armored men up in the front. They could also probably kill one guy if I... And none of them have shields, though. I mean, we have three archers. Yeah, screw it. I'm waiting. Yeah, I mean, if they're not coming at us, we're just going to keep on throwing spears at the... Damn it. You simply don't have the range, sir. So we do have a lot of guys who have their chance. Okay, I'm coming in now. Ah, uh, whoops. Uh, use up one action point too many. Okay, well, they've left an opening here for us to get in with them. Let's just engage them. Look, they're wavering already. Sad, weak men. There we go. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, good. Surround them. Make them feel peer pressured. Crap! That wasn't good. Eh, we could have remained back, but then this guy would have thrown- I don't want to have more axes thrown at me. What do you think, I'm crazy? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Simply because our ranged combat isn't as good. Look, now we have 71% chances to hit this guy. We, his nasal helm is ours. Your nose is mine. Hmm. Can I have you hit someone? No. Aha! Uh, only a 10... Okay, well, maybe we'll accidentally hit the other guy. If it's another enemy that's in the way, it's totally fine to just do that. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. Give me your nose. Yeah. Your nose has been taken by a small burb. Give back the nose, burb. Hmm. All right, so I want you to go look at this. So, 63% chance to hit because this guy is so far back, but... If we look at this guy, who's surrounded by uh, five of our guys, we have an 84% chance to hit. Very similar to enemies, but my god, look at the difference just because of being surrounded. Uh, let's see if we can just take out one guy before he gets to use that item very much more. Uh, yeah, you know what? Walk up. Why not? All right, now he is getting uh, double hand advantage. Carl! Thanks very much for the prime. I haven't learned the ultimate dishonorable tactic of the shiv circle yet. I think we'll end up doing that by, uh... Actually, does everybody have a shiv now? Mm. Eh, what the heck. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Alright, let's try the shiv circle. Mm, no, no. Okay, good. Those weapons are terrible. I don't like them. Ah, uh, you don't have a shiv on you. Okay, well, you're just going to use your normal weapon, you normal man. Mm. Do you have a shiv? You do have a shiv. Okay, I will give you the, your shiv. Mm, let's try puncture attacks to ignore the armor. Mm. Damned. Good. Puncture. Man, this would be very deadly. Uh, actually, you just stay right there, because I am afraid for your life, sir. 
Uh, he doesn't have anything. Okay, so normal attack. And please give me some of his armor. All right, and this gentle... Ah. And this gentleman. Uh, some of the sound design in this game is just great, though. You can really feel the attack happening. Now let's go here, and then... Okay, he's flagging. He's flagging. Hmm. Dean Machine 722 thanks very much for the sub. As well as Anon Omenclature, thanks for the 200 bits. All the knives on an attack that bypasses armor so it isn't damaged. If you panic an enemy, they can attack you back. Oh, so surrounding guys with shivs and the... I mean, it is quite dangerous. It sounds like a scene out of West Side Story. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, at least this guy, this guy is going to die. I guess we could just pass some of those turns, though. Yeah, probably paying more attention to that gear will uh, save us some trouble. But also, too, I mean, you know, it's all just working off of chances. We probably got some of it right. <gasps> Two nasal helms and a morning star. Okay, this is fantastic, as well as the long axe. The long axe I'm not as big a fan of, but it does have great reach. So it's more like a backline weapon anyway. Uh, Hildebert the Slow, as well as Harald the Brawler. And what other guy? Carl. Who is Carl? Whoever he is. Whoever he is. He is himself. Ah, no, 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 not Nox errors. Natch errors? Whatever they are. I don't like them. Uh, are you the... No, you aren't the... Hildebert the slow... Eh, you know, Hildebert has been there from the beginning. Maybe we'll make him the, our, uh... Yes, I think that he deserves to be the sergeant. Let's make him the sergeant. I know I didn't say I would, but uh, I'll be damned. He's been a, he's been with us for long enough. We got to make him more of a uh, uh um, you know, a, a, a man for others now. We'll we'll put him uh we'll give him the banner. After all his shield get did get destroyed. Welcome to the back line. Uh what is your name again? Hildebert the Slow? Question mark. No, not slow anymore. Not slow anymore. Hmm. Adore the Kenshi content. Happy to see me playing. To Good to be playing Battle Brothers. And Kenshi was also a jam. All right, now we've got uh, pretty much all nasal helmets for our front line. I believe that these are entirely better than all of our other ones. Okay, stop wearing that farmer hat. Do I also root off the red unimportant reindeer? You will, you will get that. Uh, actually, I could have waited a little bit longer and made... Looks like Sequisha into the uh, sergeant, but whatever. Never mind. He might not have lived anyway. Now he has a nasal helmet. Mm, what are you? You are our front line. You're a bowman. Carl, why are, do I have you in front line? I really have you in back line. I'm going to go ahead and give him this perk. It'll still work for front line. Eventually we'll give him... We'll keep raising backline stats. I'm not ready for another backliner right now, though. Get that to 50. I I'm going to do that. I know this looks weird, but we're going to switch him out in a bit. Carl uh, Bowman. Oh, do we have... Oh, actually, I'll give this one over to chat. What is a more clever name than that for backline? We... Carl for Carl the viewer, who just... I'm going to name him Carl. What is a better backline name? Something that reminds us that he's a bowman, but something that's also more entertaining than just being a, a bowman. Am I really a turtle, or is it a frog? Why do... It's, amphibian is a frog. A turtle is a frog. Um, he isn't a bowman. Uh, he's going to be a bowman, though. He's going to be a bowman. Carl the far away. Carl the far away. <laughs> I like that. That is, that is very funny. That is very funny. <laughs> Ah, uh, very good in on nomenclature. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. All right, let's give everybody else shivs as well, because they are good. They are very good. Hmm. That shiv surrounding maneuver is quite good. Uh, what is... This is quite a good weapon as well. What do we have a lot of? We just kind of want to... Uh, we have a lot of this, so let's go ahead and do this. Who else has out a shiv? We want to make sure that we switch those out. It seems as to me as though we have a lot of flails, and although I like them... Oh, and let's also switch these two. I'd like to have somebody with a reach weapon on the side-ish. Javelins are good. What else is there? 
Shot, ah, uh, Arrow to the Knee also would have been a good name, but ver well, very well. Maybe next time, very next time. Uh, wait a minute. The red unimportant reindeer looks like Sequisha. Do we have another? The far away thick boy, we have the brawler. I think, um, maybe we could do this as, um, can take Arrow to Knee. Uh, could take, can air, can knee an arrow. That would, uh, that would fit the required character. He, like, see, we're verbing to knee, which means, like, to take it in the knee, which is really a heroic feat, to take an arrow in the knee. Please, t please tell me that you know what I'm referencing. All right, we never need to run away from Nax errors. We failed to run away from the Nax errors. <laughs> Alright, we haven't played any Nax errors yet in this campaign. I don't like them at all. I don't think there. Okay, there are a lot of them. We can just retreat if we want to. Oh, no. I mean, well, we can just leave, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Are they faster than us? I honestly don't know. They do have fatigue, so they're not undead, but they're certainly not the easiest. They look worse than they are. They really aren't as tough as they look. Unless if you give them a lot of time. They're, they're easy as long as you push the attack. Yeah, like, pretty much... Well, here's how Naxxeros work. If you've never seen Naxxeros, they're going to fight us. And then this guy is like an awakened Naxxeros. I don't know what you call him. He's grown horns and hair. He, like He's taken some kind of puberty recipe. And... He's had all this... If we wait a couple of turns, all of them are going to bloom into puberty and sprout into a bell sprout or something like that. Yeah, so they'll get bigger. So we want to get them before they get big. This guy will actually probably be the last one that we kill. But there are much more deadly enemies in the game. Like, there's orc berserkers, so... It's a thought. Uh, they've all done their move for the turn. I think that they're fast. They can vor your men instantly. Though I haven't had as bad experience with them as I had with uh, dire wolves. I think because I don't want to just retreat because I think retreating may be bad here. I think they will close the ground with us because they seem to be able to move very far in a turn. And I would not want an anticlimactic ending like that. And I also want to fight another enemy and I think it would be cool. We're going to fight them. Um, who am I going to put on this high ground? I think I'd like to have him up here. One, two, three. Yeah, he should be able to get up there this turn. Everybody else... Uh, they're at a very inconvenient distance for us. I also don't like the fact that our gear hasn't really had a chance to get better. We're just going to pretty much fire right into them. 33, 33, 30. I think everybody is 33. Yeah, we'll just go on them one by one. Mm, not a good start. Oh, well. Wait. We're probably going to put you further back. 16%. I'm not liking these chances to hit. Not liking it at all. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna wait on you two, because I'm gonna... <gasps> what is that? I've never even seen that before. Clearly larger. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Wait, we will lose our archers if I run because I just took their turn. Crap. Okay, you know what? We're standing and fighting. If this is the end, then it'll still be worth it. It'll still be completely worth it because... I will learn. I will learn. Am I gonna die? Yeah, don't run. You can... Okay, alright. I'm gonna do it. Um... Alright, is there any way we can advantageously surround them? I don't want to give them too many opportunities. I want to give them one attack at most. I'm saying let's advance one square or one to two squares and shield wall everyone. We will shield wall. Uh, as for our archers, we'll try to just keep them back by one square. Okay, so something like this. Observe. Something like this. There we go. Okay. You be very careful here. You go there, sir. You put up your shield. Good. Good job. You will be rewarded in the afterlife. Mm, 
Okay, Red Rudolph the Red Unimportant Reindeer. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is his last battle. Damn it. I didn't realize that these were two. Oh, that was a rocky ground crap. Um, all right. Well, whatever. We lost a turn. Not great, but what can you do? All right, you stand there. You stand right about there. Okay. Shield wall. Behold the power of the shield wall. And the spear wall. Ah. You'll probably die, Rudolph, though. Uh, whoops. Didn't manage to get him up. Crap. Uh, and you have two more AP, so that means I'm putting you here. I want to keep my archers tucked in nicely like that. All right. Are we going to shoot the other Naxxeras? Let's get this guy closer up behind the line and then take a pot shot. That's somebody. Okay, missed. Oh, well. All right, here is the big move. Uh, here they come in. The next Aerares. They should be able to get in one swipe against all of my guys. That was the only guy without the shield wall up, but the rest of them... Ha! Ah, you have been Smackledorf twice. Hold the line. Yeah, I know they're probably going to flank me, but uh, I'll probably be able to kill more of them before they can flank me. We really need a productive round of combat here, though, or else a lot of them are going to turn into this thing, which is terrifying and bad. No! How did you get past the shield wall? Oh, good. All right, that went pretty well. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. I know, Rudolph the Red, uh, the Red Sad Man is going to die for sure. The guys at the end are probably going to die too. Um, here's how it's going to go. We're going to first sh try to kill all five of these guys... And then we're going to have probably some death, and then we'll try to tie up the last two big ones. I don't know how long, how this one will go, but uh, I know we've got a worse chance to hit here, but let's try to take this guy out. See, they're not that tough because they don't have armor, but you can't let these guys live for long. Uh, okay, I want to kill that guy completely. Good, good, good. They are wavering, they are wavering. Good, good. Into the fray with you. Uh, I don't want to go into this concave. I think I just want to hold this line steady. Every man fends for himself. Good job, man. Okay, I will shield wall you because I just want to be safe. Mm, how can we... Okay, 11% chance to hit it. I'm not very optimistic about that. All right, uh, let's take out this one. No, no, no. Big sad, big sad. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Everyone, focus your fire on this man. Uh, do we need to rally? We don't need to rally because no one is wavering. Ha ah, ha ha! Good, good, good. Uh, I don't want this guy to die. Who is this? Who Who is this again? Carl the far away. Okay, he... Is, we aren't certain if he'll really be around for much longer. Uh, since we are slightly surrounding this guy, we'll try to take him. Oh, no, no, no. He's such a dodger. And... Uh, I don't want him to die, though, so I'm, I am just going to shield wall him. And let's see how that goes. Stepping on the corpses might be good. I, I'm a little worried about them evolving this turn. I think we have maybe one more turn before they evolve into Metapod or whatever they change into. Crap, there, one of them just did it, and he's growing confident. Now they can start to snowball here. Ah, uh, crap. No, 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 no. No, this is bad. Okay, take out your knife and stabby stab. Crap. Uh, now we gotta take out the big guy because he's... Clearly he's large. Um, okay, you take out your... Your stabby stick. Good. They're changing, they're transforming. Alright, now we it's rather unambiguous at least. Look, they're getting more and more powerful. Okay, let's still keep focusing on the... Uh, I should have focused on the weaker ones. Um, regrets have been had. Oh, but I get... Oh, I almost took him out. I almost took him out. All right, he is running. He is running. He'll probably get killed by the other guy. No, no, no. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's very bad. See how much stronger they are when they've transformed? Ah, good. Okay. Okay, that one was important. All right, now we need to play aggressive. Uh, I don't like that at all. Who got killed? Uh, ooh, no, that's bad. 
I don't remember what this thing means, the confident, but it's certainly not good for us. Oh no! He killed two men! No! That was our back line too! Dear God. Uh, oh wait, he didn't kill two, he killed only one man. But still, I'm not particularly happy with that. Yeah, I know, it, like, some of these guys are so powerful, it's crazy. Ah, uh, hmm. Okay, can we take out this guy completely? Apparently not. Uh, whoops, I don't have an item. Oh, here we go, okay, take out a, a, a stick. Uh, hmm. As you can see, this is going really well. Alright, maybe we could take out the big guy. I am worried about him because he took out... He ate a whole man. Damn it. Uh... Okay, this guy still hasn't transformed yet. That is a concern. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, yes, good. We've taken out another one. Maybe they'll waver. They're evolving. They're like the Autobots. Oh dear God, no. Don't take out Grimald Thick Boy. Come on, take him out. You have a powerful spear. And we are also wavering. <gasps> no, okay, now we might start to snowball. This is bad. Oh, this do be very bad. Shit, wait a minute. Ooh. I know, but I want to. I didn't want to. Oh. Hindsight is twenty twenty, friends. Hindsight is twenty twenty. If we had run, we would have lost a guy, and we would have regretted it, and we would have been sad. So I'm. I still stand firm in my decision. We've got a lot of misses, though. I'm honestly quite surprised how many misses we had in this fight against them, which does not bode well for us at all. We might survive barely. I mean, look at that, 61% chance to hit him. Ah, uh, no. I am confident in Grimald Thick Boy, though, even if he only survives this fight. If only he survives this. All right, now this is not good. Come on. Fatigue has been built up now. Good, good, good. Walk, walk, men. Good, finally, they're missing now. He just ate, like, three men there before. Should I rally the- um, what does that do? Morale check to rally fleeing allies. Triggles more- uh... Ah, this says only fleeing allies, so that's not great. Who has lived? Rudolph the Red on Unfortunately, all the people that I wanted to live died. <laughs> Grimald Thick Boy is doing okay. Hmm... This big one hung on for a long time. Ah, he's so close to getting killed. It would be a major accomplishment to beat him, but look at how much health Grimald Thick Boy has. Come on, take him down, take him down. Ah, and the fatigue is really killing me there. Surprised this guy hasn't. He still hasn't transformed. That is not good. But this is the this is the reasoning why it's good to go aggressive on Nax errors early on. In fact, I. How did he transform me? Oh, they can transform even more. I did not even know that. Okay. Uh, strange. The more you know. I actually didn't know that at all about Naxxer. I thought that they transformed once. And now probably fatigue is just going to get us killed. We have to kill them. We have to kill them. My god, my banner lord gonna win us this fight. I think we will win this now. I had my doubts there, but I, I do think we will win it again. If these guys can fucking hit. Jesus. Not a good fight. By any means. But now he is wavering, despite the fact that he is large and imposing and terrifying. They can transform even further. Are you kidding me? I probably would have been running more. This is the reason why it's so bad when they're elusive. We're gonna lose to get a lot of guys here. And this guy has evaded every single attack. Oh crap. Oh crap. One, how many tiles away is this? One, two, can you please rally them? 
Please rally them. One, two, three, four. Ah, it's too far. I, if I move him too, he's probably going to get killed. Uh, Grimald Thick Boy isn't even really contributing that much. Okay, a heroic swipe. And then probably... Well, keep the high ground. I don't want you to die. Okay. Okay, finally we're getting it. No, please come back, Grimald Thick Boy. Please come back, Rudolph the Red Unimportant Reindeer. Oh, no. Yeah, Hildebert really pulled his weight in this fight. You're right. Well, at least some of them will get away. Carl the Far Away did live, in fact. He had only a maimed foot, but everyone else is dead. That's probably the worst combat I've ever had, uh, where we did still live. But I think that's kind of like a testament to stuff that generally happens in this game. Like, that was quite a random encounter. If I hadn't seen that one big one, I think we would have won it a lot faster, a lot easier. But that kind of came out of nowhere. Not great, but we do have a sergeant now, a sergeant sash, and it looks like we've got our main fighters out of that. Did Grimald Thick Boy sustain any permanent injuries? He did not. Okay, that's good because he was going to be our main tank. Um, he do yeah, and also too, he doesn't need to move that much. Carl, the far away, wherever he winds up. But a lot of these guys will end up just being bodies. Very exciting to have a very difficult combat, and, and I'm glad that we did because oftentimes this... I was worried this would go by and it would be too easy, uh, which is a thought. Hildebert, though, one of the original companions, I think, uh, has kind of made his mark on the company. And also, too, free navel nasal helmets for everyone. Because we don't have any people left. We need to recruit better companions now. Um, hmm. He's pretty weak right now. They also did hit us when we're weak, so normally I think we would have had an easier time with Max Errors. Okay, enough of that, though. Um, but it does kind of expose the weaknesses in your company, you know, like, if they hadn't had those morale checks, men would have lived, and so on and so forth. Alright, let's see, uh, Grimald Thick Boy is pretty much just gonna be our damage soak up, and since we always have him in armor, 79 isn't that good, but I think I like the shield better, because he just needs to be able to take a hit, that's his kind of design. Yeah, you could definitely take an arrow to the knee. Do that. Okay, cool. Ooh, that was a lot. Happy four months. Make sure to give nasal helmets extra snoot protection. Can't have people losing their noses willy-nilly. No, the nose loss is quite uh, crippling to your company, I agree. That's one of the reasons we go for those nasal helmets. Hey, Remus Max, as well as the Wavy Tree and J.C. Muller. Thanks very much for the subs. Much appreciated, my friends. Hmm. Okay, so let's kind of reassess the situation. That was that was probably the worst thing that we've had happen to our company so far. But I'm glad that we had something difficult, because this is a difficult game. Um, now we are in a good spot, though, because we can kind of think about... Going back to the beginning in a, in a few ways, we can kind of reform our company, and we can start to buy more expensive troops, because, quite frankly, um, those guys were kind of like our beginner people. Whoever survived kind of through natural selection at the beginning. You know, I've never seen anywhere that these are sold for more. I'm just going to sell them here. That might be somewhat ignorant of me, but I, I'm i doing it. Um, fortunately, we don't have to pay as many men. There's other positive to this. And we can kind of reform the company as we see fit. Um, let me see. I don't know if this... How does this replenish? Oh, we need more ammo. Okay, this is a fairly good deal on ammo. We have a lot more gear that we could give to people that we don't have. Yeah, beast parts never sell well. Do I have the DLC? I don't have the DLC on right now. Probably if we go in for another run, though, we'll do the DLC. More teeth. Okay. All right, it's something. Um, But now we kind of want to think about upgrading everything, you know? Everything. Um, hmm. So let's go ahead and... We've got a brawler here. We'll hire him. Who else do we have? We can kind of reform our line and start to pick people of better backgrounds. We've got almost purely brawlers in our front line now. Mostly useful people. That Rudolph the Red on Important Reindeer has managed to survive quite a lot. We don't know how, but sometimes people just get through by luck or one way or another. Um, 
pretty good. Alright. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Air hard. Now we can also have all of their shields matched, too, because they don't have many people left. Hmm. Didn't have such good luck in that last fight. Let's give them the, the boar spear. Looks pretty good. 679. Want to keep that theme going. We have another nasal helmet. No, but we have these other skeleton helmets. That's an ancient household helmet. 250 versus... Oh, this is the same thing, pretty much. Hmm. Mm, Airherd, yeah, he he doesn't have very good willpower, though, too. That's true. Or resolve, rather. Now, the thing that I'm optimistic about... Uh, what am I optimistic about? Not really much. The one big sad thing is that we lost all of our rangers in the last fight. That is very, very bad. Those are the main guys you want to keep alive. The one thing that keeps this campaign going is that Grimald Thick Boy survived. Um, and he was very essential to this because of his three-star melee defense. What we want to go do is see if we can recruit people who have better defenses like that. Go ahead and um, leave the city. See if this is like a delivery contract. It is, so we'll take it. Um... Cargo to Falk, the counselor, and Stenkai. I've had a date of the West by Road. We were going to go there anyway, so we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, let's see our other things. Tools and supplies, ammunition. I think I just bought those so it didn't update. Yep, there we go. And now we're on the lookout for people with better traits in general. And we have more brigands. Uh, I cannot fight that right now because I am just very weak. So we're going to go back into the city. See if we can get the militia... Will there be any militia? Are we going to be forced to recruit these guys or just die? Perhaps. Perhaps. Hmm. I did say that gear was very valuable. Maybe we should just get some nicer gear for these guys. I mean, all of this weak gear is pretty useless at this stage of the game. Yes, maybe we'll do that. Okay, we're going to start selling some things. Mm hmm. Oh, I have amber on me. I could probably get a better price for this, though. I don't know. I don't know. But the thing, the back to the matter is that I just want to keep, uh, what's his face? Very well defended right here. Like, if there's one guy I can get, if I can get Grimald Thick Boy really, really well outfitted, this will all be worth it. Except he's probably not going to make it for this fight. Ah, okay, I need meat shields. I need meat shields. Hey, Javarins and three billion devices. Thanks very much. Hmm. Yeah, probably gonna be doing more PZ long plays once uh, multiplayer gets released. PZ long plays are quite good. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we kind of were forced to hire those guys because we're about to get ambushed in two seconds. Okay, outfit thyselves, men. Do this. Wear this. Put on some clothes. I also don't have any armor for you. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> hmm. Shield. Shield. Uh, is anybody any good at anything? Oh, you are actually rather good. Oh, wow. We lucked out here. Huzzah. Minus 10 initiative and minus... Well, he's fat. Okay, that's fine. I accept you. Hmm. All right. Um, where is someone who doesn't matter? Rudolph the Red, unimportant rain reindeer, disrobe. You aren't as important as this new guy, because he has three-star melee defense, and that is quite good. And he's a fat man. Hmm. Generally better to focus on gearing and leveling up some five or so before getting more dudes since your encounters are scaled based on your team says Ah, that is true, actually. Yes, I forgot. It. I did neglect that. That's true. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll gear up. Let's stay in town a little bit longer. We'll sell a few things. I know this is not a great place to sell a lot of this stuff, but the fact of the matter is that if we could gear... Now you're talking to me about the metagame, and I kind of get where you're coming from on that. Okay, let's sell a bunch of this gear that we really don't want to upgrade into. I don't really want the cro default crossbow anymore. These hooked blades are good, but I've seen better stuff, and to be honest with you, I don't really like them in combat that much. Um, 
selling all of these. I don't think we need these swords. The fox is good. Actually, the fox is very good. I might take that. But the fact of the matter is that we just have too many weapons, more than we can even possibly use. Sell these hats. This. Sell the ancient spear. Sell the broken ancient sword. Okay, now we've got some monies to talk of. Let's leave. Let's go to the armor and acquire gear. My god, uh, whatever how you say this. We won't have enough money to pay our own men, though. Let's gear them up. 1,500 full kettle hat with mail. That looks very, very good. And the two we just got, the miner has good start sets, and the mason has growth potential. Yeah, I'm starting to look a little bit more into characters' potential as they go. You know, I think I overlooked a lot of guys by a bit too much. Lavalar armor, that looks cool. Maximum fatigue. Some of the stuff we haven't even really scaled into, though, too. Because we need higher fatigue if we want to wear some of this stuff as well. Vision minus one. Hmm. 115 versus 100. And I also think that there's like decreasing marginal returns. Let's get one really good kettle, kettle hat with mail. And I know that this seems like overkill. But if we have one guy who will really do well with this, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Or 1800, even this. Just one piece of gear that's just so good. Flat top with mail, I'm doing it. I'm splurging. So be it, I'm splurging. Hmm. Lamellar armor, armor is A1 for the start. Maybe we'll take some Lamellar armor. It will sell some of the stuff that we have right now. I mean, look at that. That's badass. I don't see myself growing more into these flails. There are better, fl far better flails that we'll start to encounter soon, too. Getting rid of some of these spears. Some of these spears. 492, 490... Okay, we will never be able to afford some of that stuff. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. But fortunately, we can give you this. I think that's pretty good. 350 versus 180. Okay, so then clearly this is much better. Let's give more of these people these beheading swords. Probably much better. Yes, it is. Indeed it is. Hmm. There's so many details. You easy to get lost. I really don't want you to die in this combat. He has a cut artery. Jesus. How do you do better with that? Generally, range bros get their respective weapon skill ASAP. You get the one to Yes, I know. We lost all of our range people. We had a very bad thing happen to us. I am sad. Okay. I am more or less happy with this. We just keep getting chased down by bandits in these weird fights. Let's see if we... Come on. If I just camp here... Ugh. I was hoping that the city militia would come and help us. That do be pretty bad. And they're ranged, so they can just stay where they're at. We aren't even ranged anymore. Um. Oh, that was a really stupid first move of them, though. I don't know why they did that at all. They just kind of charge right at us. All right, well, we can decapitate them. We can decapitate them, fortunately. Or not. I'm charging right in here because we're at a fairly advantageous position. Hmm. 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 Two, if we give him one chance. No, I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to go here and then shield wall. Wait for your turn. It's just the problem. The fact of the matter is that we ha keep having to fight with all of these really weakened men, which is where I find that companies tend to die. Like I had a mission a few times ago when I was playing, where you have to defend a city, and it's like five fights in a row without any rest. That's generally the type of thing that gets your company killed. Actually, I could have decapitated that man. The regret of not decapitating when you could have decapitated. Yeah, I know. This did kill me the last time, though, too, is when we just had all of these 
awful fights I really didn't want to get into one after the other. Which that was what it was with the Nax errors with these guys too. Okay, we've caused this gentleman to flag. We're on pretty advantageous ground here at least. But look at how beat up all my guys are. And a little bit of that is RNG. I do I do have a little bit of salt over that. Like that all the enemies just kind of come out of nowhere. I regret not chopping off that man's head. Mm. Oh god, that was our that was Grimald. Like that's what I'm talking about is now I now I am very sad and feeling more hopeless. This may end up being our last fight. Hmm. I still don't really feel like I would have played this much differently, though. Maybe the one thing I would have done would have been to run away from the Nax errors and just let one of my ranged guys die. Because we lost way too many. But that can be somewhat frustrating about- Oh, crap. He's landed. Can be frustrating about this game, though, at times where it's like, you know, you want to do the action-packed thing, you want to get into a combat, but you're better off sometimes just retreating. And it sometimes doesn't really feel like you get better, but it sometimes feels like it's just you do better decision-making. And I know part of that's, like, true of roguelites, roguelikes, but it's also somewhat obvious, I don't know. And it does start to feel like you're just kind of gaming the AI. That's one negative th I've had a lot of positive to things to say, but that is one, I guess, area where the game could be more interesting. Mm. Like, it, it almost starts to feel like that the AI is following the script. And I know it is, but you don't really want that to be front, st front and center when you're playing, you know what I mean? Like, you are thinking about that a lot. That's exactly part of the difficulty curve. Yeah, but I also... Uh, I suppose that happens with a lot of roguelikes and roguelites. Like with Isaac, for example. But damn it, how did that guy hit me from that far away? Like, that's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. I think one thing that would be interesting in this would be if you could take prisoners after fights. That'd be cool. I still like it. But yeah, that is where the RNG can hit hard. And you'll probably read on Steam, like, some very salty reviews of people who clearly just got out of a campaign doing something like what I'm doing right now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 5% just... Yeah. And then you encounter enemies who are... We should probably run from this, but I think this is probably going to be our last fight. I'll get out with, like, one guy. Yeah. Prisoners would be interesting, especially from the manhood. Yeah, I mean, but probably some of this is done. Ah, he's on such higher ground. Well, this is the one advantage of having really good archers, too. If they get very accurate. You can start to snowball, though, too. And if you avoid any of that crazy RNG, avoid the wrong missions, then you can start to seriously uh, power up in the game. So that's nice. Okay, yeah, we're going to die. This is going to be our last fight. Um, I don't really see any way out of this, though. We could retreat, but they probably are just going to get themselves killed. Should I run out my sergeant? <laughs> see if we can see if we can get him to live. Otherwise, it's just it's just going to be a sad end. Or if somebody charges at him, okay, run away, run. That's the end. No. Oh, actually, two of them got away. Oh, maybe even three. Probably call it there anyway. <laughs> Just such a bad end. One thing that can be brutal, too, is that if you really do lose a lot of guys, it's hard to... Oh, wow, he evaded many things. Though he'll probably keep getting re-engaged. Yep, our standard bear is going to get away. <laughs> See, I wish that they had more sequences like this, though, because it does fatigue you a bit to play the game with such a similar combat system over time. But again, to be fair, I mean, I sit with this game for, I would say, five hours at a time, and I still find it interesting for the whole thing. Oof, damn. Rudolph the unimportant red-nosed reindeer is really avoid- except now he avoided death. Oh, wait a minute. No, this was Rudolph the unimportant red-nosed reindeer. Unfortunately, though, 
what happens there is all of that money that we spent on gear. Yeah, and then we get re-engaged by the same brigands. So, I mean, like, we could just keep retreating, but I think you can see how this is going now. A little bit rough with some of the RNG in that case. Like, they can pretty much just hunt your guys down into extinction. Uh, I think, eh, are we gonna... Oh, we'll retreat again. But I don't know. In summary... Actually, that's that's one of my favorite parts about this game, is how difficult it is. Is that making one random misstep like that, which I'm surprised I managed to get... What did we get, like, five and a half hours into this campaign? Very, very fun. Very challenging and engaging. A couple of, like, minor difficulty flaws, but some of that just comes up whenever you play a game too much. Like, I see that in stuff like Zomboid or, you know... I guess these guys are raiding that town. No, they're faster. Th are they faster than me? Whatever they are. Okay, I guess we save ourselves from extinction. But clearly our company is pretty much screwed now. We are almost bankrupt. We have only 492. Um, I guess I'll just sum up what much of the rest of the late game would be. So, we could bring this back. We could earn more money for our company. We could probably take more delivery contracts. But the fact of the matter is that the world is going to start to scale up without us. All we need is Rudolph. Hmm. <laughs> we could do more of this, but I think I'm just going to pick something random. I'm pretty much done with this campaign at this point. Or I feel like it's dead to me once I lost too many of my early starter guys. And there are modes where you can play, supposedly. I haven't tried them myself. Where you pick one guy, and if he dies, then it's all over. So it's very, like, RPG-focused. Um, but overall, I've really enjoyed it. I would do other campaigns, but since this was my early starter one, I feel a little bit more just, like, kind of posting it. And then seeing what people... Actually, we could bring this back. Sort of. But I feel as though I made so many mistakes that I would rather just kind of, like, put it out on the VODs channel, see what people have to say. Feel free to leave any tips or comments or anything like that. Um, I will read them because I, I've really been enjoying it. I don't know if I'm going to be playing this, like, constantly, or I'll see how people like it. I certainly like it a lot. Um, and I would come back and do a campaign. I'd like to do it in a full run in one to two videos, or one to two streams. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I do feel like it, I kind of lose my immersion now that I've lost so many of my original brothers. Because I want to keep them alive. Um, but yeah, Battle Brothers, definitely check it out. Probably for my next one, I'll add on some DLC just because of the variety. Um, another pimp. Couple things like that we would have avoided the next time, but yeah, I, I feel like my head is uh, is my head is in another place now. Let's just do something random. All right, uh, I think we will call it there. It's been a good stream. It's been fun. Um, but I do have, uh, we're gonna be doing a video, we're gonna be doing more Project Zomboid tomorrow. Seeing a run on the Legends mod would be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, like, or if you guys have any pointed feedback or tips on it, I would love to play this game better, but, uh, yeah, fun to explore more variety. Love to see more Battle Brothers. I mean, it's a jam. I recommend it. I really enjoy it on my own personal time. I hope it was interesting to you guys. I, I do think that some of the combat kind of slogs on for a while, so I don't know if it's, like, the ideal stream game. All the time, but it kind of opens up to more stuff like Darkest Dungeon. Go check it out. It's a lot more fun to play than it is to watch, I'll also say. Um, 